Welcome to the tutorial for using the push notifications feature of the Alibi Witness app with the Guarding Vision cloud service. This video is an extension of the Alibi Security YouTube video Alibi P2P Setup. Before performing the procedures outlined here for push notifications and sharing, make sure that you have installed the Alibi Witness 2.0 app version 3 or later on your Android or iOS mobile device and set up a Guarding Vision cloud service account. A push notification is a message sent to your Alibi Witness app when a particular system event occurs. There are three categories of events. Camera events, including motion detection, loss of video, video content analysis events, camera alarms, and others. These largely depend on the capabilities of the camera. Alarm input events detected by switches or reporting devices wired to the alarm terminations on the back of the recorder or to camera alarm inputs and exception conditions detected by the recorder, such as HDD full, illegal login, etc. To use push notifications with Alibi Witness, you must do the following. Configure your recorder to send push notifications. The recorder must be connected to a network that has internet access and a Guarding Vision account must be set up. In this video, we'll show how to create push notifications for an alarm input event and a camera event. Configure Alibi Witness to receive push notifications. In Alibi Witness, push notifications are enabled at both the device level and at the app level. Manage push notification messages. Alerts in Alibi recorders can be set up to push capture files and videos. These can easily be played in Alibi Witness. Configuring your recorder to send push notifications is generally a two-step process. One, configure the recorder to sense an alarm event, and two, Enable the Notify Surveillance Center option in the Linkage menu for the event. To configure an alarm input event at the system console, log in to the system with administrative credentials and then open the main menu. For this alarm event setup, a normally open sensor at a door is connected to alarm input 1 on the recorder, and camera A2 is pointed at the door and the entranceway. So when the door opens, we can capture an image of the scene attach it to a push notification, and send it to Alibi Witness. Click the Configuration icon. In the Configuration menu, click the Alarm link in the left column, and then click the Alarm Input tab. To set up a push notification for Alarm Input 1, select Local Input 1 in the Alarm Input Number field. Select the Alarm type, Normally Open, or NO for this alarm, and then click the Enable box to check it. Next, click the Settings icon. In the Trigger Channel tab, we'll select Channel A2 to capture an image from that camera when the alarm occurs. Click Apply. In the Arming Schedule tab, make sure the alarm will be enabled at the right time, and then click the Linkage Action tab. Check the box to Notify Surveillance Center. This option will create the push notification when the alarm event occurs. Click Apply, and then click OK to close the Settings menus. Click Apply in the Alarm Input screen to save the configuration. To configure a camera event at the System Console, click the Camera icon in the main menu. We'll use a Video Loss Event as an example for setting up a camera event with push notification. It is important to configure your camera and other events carefully because common alarms, such as motion detection, which occur many times a day, can generate a push notification for each, which can quickly fill your phone. To enable a Video Loss Alarm, which usually occurs less frequently, click the Video Loss link on the left. Select the camera you want to monitor, for example, Camera A1, and then check the box to Enable Video Loss Alarm. Click the Settings icon. In the Arming Schedule tab, make sure the camera event will be enabled at the right time, and then click the Linkage Action tab. Check the box to Notify Surveillance Center to create a push notification when a video loss occurs. Click Apply, and then click OK to close the Settings menu. Click Apply in the Video Loss menu to save the configuration. To configure your Alibi Witness app to receive push notifications, you must enable push notifications at both the device level and the app level. At the device level, you can set up a schedule for when notifications from the device will be saved. At the app level, push notifications from all devices are either enabled or disabled. To receive notifications for a device in the Alibi Witness app, open the Home page and then tap the Device List icon in the upper left corner. In the Device List, 
tap the device you want to configure for push notifications. In Settings, tap the Alarm Notification option and slide the Alarm Notification switch to On. If the Notification Schedule switch is off, alarm notifications from the device can be reported all the time. You can slide the Schedule switch to On, then tap Notification Schedule below to set up a time when push notifications will be saved in your phone. You can schedule for each day of the week for different hours. To enable push notifications at the app level, tap the More icon in the lower right corner. In the More menu, tap the Settings option. In the Message Push Notification option, slide the switch to On. You can also tap Notification Sound to select the type of audible alert that plays when a notification is received. Tap the Back icon twice to return to the More screen. When a push notification is received, it appears at the top of the screen. You can tap on the notification to open it, or tap the message icon at the bottom to open the message screen to see a list of notifications you have received. To view a notification, tap on it. Tap the three dots in the upper right corner to immediately go to live video from the camera or to save an image of the video you see. Tap playback to watch video recorded of the alarm event. To delete a push notification message, Touch the notification for about a second, then tap Delete in the pop-up windows. You can also tap the Edit button at the top of the screen, select the notifications you want to delete, and then tap the Delete button at the bottom of the screen. This concludes the tutorial for setting up the Push Notifications feature of the Alibi Witness 2.0 app with the Guarding Vision Cloud service.